Here to tell us if there's any sign of a warm up in our forecast. It is April, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, I've looked ahead 10 days and we stay below the norm for the next 10 days. Mm. It's so unfair, but it's going to feel so good when we finally get above the norm. Whenever yes. that is. For now. Whenever that. Yeah, whenever that is. But I'll tell you, we're cold now. We're going to stay cold for a while. Bourbon A, David Sprode is 46 degrees, 42 in Harvard from Gilbert. Rensselaer, Cheryl and Mike of 44. And Elsip, we're looking at 43 degrees. That's from Eugene Wood. Everybody's looking at chilly temperatures. Temps came in about 10 degrees below the norm for this time of year. Chris in Crown Point looking at 44 degrees right now. It should be 54 for a high this time of year at about this point in the day and we just are not seeing it. Let's take a look officially at our temperatures around the Chicago area. At O'Hare it's 43 degrees right now and everybody's kind of in the same boat. Everybody's looking at temperatures that all come in right around that same mark. Winds are blowing 14 miles an hour. That doesn't help any. Makes us feel a little bit colder out here. And we'll be drawing our winds eventually from a northerly direction as we head through past tomorrow when we get some rain in here. And that's going to keep us on the cold side as well. Not a lot to show you here on radar, but as we zoom in, you can see we have a lot of clouds around here. And eventually we're going to see some rain in our forecast, but that's better than what they'll see to the north of us. Central Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, a winter storm. Storm warning goes from very late tonight through the day on Tuesday and the very early Wednesday. Some of these areas will see seven to 11 inches of snow. But what's that mean for us? Well, believe it or not, overnight, Tuesday and the Wednesday, we could pick up a coating of snow. I mean, at O'Hare, we're looking at not even an inch up to the north near the state line. It's not out of the question we could see an inch or two. But it is spring, and even though it's been cold, it'll be above freezing as we head through the day on Wednesday. We'll melt anything that we get, any coating out there away. Futurecast shows you the snow that moves into Wisconsin. The rain that comes in here tomorrow is with us, and we could have some storms around here. Not a question, we could see a thunderstorm as we head through the day on Tuesday, and then that eventually gets out during the nighttime hours, Tuesday to Wednesday. That's when we see a little swath of snow come through here that could give us just a coating in some areas. Also, southeast of Chicago, we have the chance, an enhanced chance, for severe weather, damaging wind, large hail, or tornado. In our area, it's just a slight risk that we could see an isolated severe thunderstorm. 43 degrees at O'Hare right now. As we go through the nighttime hours, we start to get rain in here after midnight. That rain is with us as we head through the day on Tuesday. So we're looking at a day tomorrow with rain likely breezy conditions, 42 degrees. Winds go from east to north at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, so pretty breezy out there. 38 degrees on Wednesday. That snow possible in the pre-dawn hours. Then 41, 30 percent chance of rain on Thursday, Friday 39, and then we settle into the 40s. And yes, hopes in sight head in the right direction to 50 degrees by Monday. Rob and Erica. That's not a misprint. <laughs> no, it's not. We need a morale builder. Thank you, Ed.